there. So it is now June 6, 2022. So this is the second spring that the fruit trees that I did all the really intensive bridge grafting on, um, this is the second spring that they've made it through. This is their first winter and only one of them has died so far. So the other six, um, they look beautiful and happy and healthy. So I'll give you a little tour just to give you an update. Again, this is the second spring they've made it through since all of the, the vole damage and all the bridge grafts that I did on them. Here's one of the Evans Bolly cherries. And the other one. So we had four apple trees and three cherry trees. This is another apple. I mean, fully leafed out. So this is the only tree that is, that is dead, that didn't make it through. So the whole top of the tree is dead. Like there is no leaves, no buds, nothing. But if you take a look at the grafts, the grafts are trying to grow. So there must have just been some sort of, I must have not connected well enough at the top. Because um, I assume for the grafts to try to be growing, that means that the base is connected. Otherwise they wouldn't have like a food and a water source to be growing those, um, those buds. And the rootstock is trying to grow too. So I must just not have gotten a good tight connection on the top here. So anyway, this is our one dead apple tree. Another apple. And back to the cherries. So everyone has, um, has blossomed and looks fantastic. I... Uh, I am going to need to go through and do a little bit of maintenance on the, the graft areas because there's a lot of weeds. And I did notice that some of them, um, the rootstock is trying to grow. And so I will have to go through and I'll set the phone down for a second. I'm going to show you what that looks like. This is the rootstock from the apple tree. It looks like that's trying to grow. And we have a lot of dandelions. Last summer, I did a couple times, I had to go around on the, the graft areas and pop off some new growth that was trying to, to start there. But it wasn't too bad. These are, uh, that's new growth, but it's coming off of the rootstock. It's not coming off of the top part of the tree. And so you want to get rid of that too. So the tree is not using energy. to grow from that direction. And from what I understand, this is something the tree is gonna have for the rest of its life now. I don't think the tree will ever regrow that bark. And on this tree, you can see this was the damaged area. And so I had gone ahead and covered it up. So things are looking good. And this was the second spring that they've survived. So I'm pretty hopeful that the grafts are going to keep holding in the future too. So uh, six out of seven success rate, not too bad. Thanks for watching and uh, thanks for asking for an update too. I might post another one in a couple of years um, if there have been any changes. We'll see. All right, happy grafting.